rolling my own. I don't trust password checkers made by other people, so I wrote my own. Doesn't even need to store the password. If you can crack it, I'll give you a flag. So there's this file. I've downloaded it, and I've put it here into Ida. So we'll start here in main. And I've gone through, I've got renamed some of the variables and retyped them. So like this string here actually looked like four uh, integer values. And so I went ahead and made that into a string. This I made into an array. So this is basically, uh, I call it random strings. It's just a string of random letters that I don't really see any particular point to. Um, these offsets, we'll see in a bit. It's going to read a password string, and then it's going to loop. It's going to copy four characters out of the password that you typed in, and then eight characters out of this random string. Um, so that means that your password needs to be 16 characters long. So we're going to do this four times, and we're getting four bytes of the password. So it's consuming 16 bytes of the password it reads from standard input. Then it's going to create uh, this array. And so it's 64 bytes. It's doing this MD5 stuff array. So what this MD5 stuff array does, it has like this output array. And again, I retype these variables in IDA. Um, an input array and a length. It divides the length by 12 to get the number of 12 character blocks and it loops through the number of blocks. And it's basically either going to have a length of 12 or the remainder if you're at the end. So we're going MD5 of each 12 character block, putting the result in this output array. So we walk through, we do MD5 on 12 bytes, and then we copy it into this output array. So the output array was 40 hex, 64 bytes. So we have four 12 character blocks. We're getting a 16 byte MD5 result for each of those. Four times 16 is 64. So we're basically computing four MD5s and storing those results. All right, so let's go back to main. So we get these four MD5s that which we've stored in this array and it loops over this array and it copies them into the shellcode array, which is just going to come down here and call. So, but it does it in this strange way. So it grabs based on offsets. So the first one we do, so we get the first eight characters here. We put our four characters of password with that. We MD5 it. We look at bytes eight through 11 and we copy them to the shellcode. So then the next time around, we're getting bytes two through five of the four bytes of password, the next four bytes of password with this suffix. Then, you know, we here we have our offset of seven. So the third four bytes of password, get the third eight bytes here. We MD5 those 12 bytes, we get bytes seven to 10 of that. And then again, the last eight bytes offset one, so bytes one to four. So we're computing these four MD5s from the first you know, four characters each of the passwords, so the first four, the second four, the third four, the fourth four, we put all of those MD5s into this shellcode array, and we call it and we pass it the address of this give me flag method. And the give me flag method says, hey, if my parameter is this 7B, 3D, whatever, I'm gonna give you the flag. So what we really need to do is our shell code is going to take give me flag as a parameter. We need to copy that, call it, and pass this thing as a parameter. So they gave us a clue, they gave us a hint, and they said that the start of the password was D1V1. All right, so if we take D1V1 and those first eight characters and we hash it, we get this hash. Our offset on that first hash was eight. Our offset on that first hash was eight. So we look eight in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's eight bytes. So we're gonna go two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So we're gonna pick up starting this four, eight, eight, nine, 
4889FE48. So 4889FE48, so it's like the eighth byte of MD5. We'll come over here and I'll use this online disassembler. I give it 4889FE48, disassemble it, and it says, okay, we're moving RSI to RDI. Okay, so RSI is that parameter. We're moving it into RDI. So what do we need to do after that? Well, we need to move, actually, I'm sorry, I said that backwards. We're moving from RDI to RSI. So we're moving the address of get flag from RDI to RSI. Then what we want to do is we want to move this as the parameter into RDI, and then we want to call RSI. So I put that into the online assembler. It gives me these bytes. All right, so these were the four bytes that I got from the D1V1. So now I need this, these four, these four, and then these three. Okay, so now I have a brute force script. So here are my strings that I want to win with. So BFF1260C, B3070000, 00FFD6. Those are the three strings that I need to come out of the MD5. These are my three suffixes for my characters of password. And I'm going to iterate over all four character strings of letters and digits. I'm just kind of hoping with D1V1 that this will work out with letters and digits. And then I hash every four character string with this, this, and this. And I check to see if bytes four through 12 match here, 14 through 22 match here, or two through eight match that one. Once I've got all three, I should print out my D1V1 plus those three solutions. So I'm just brute forcing over all four character strings of letters and digits. So it's already found the third part, the second part, they were near the front of the alphabet, and then the fourth part. And so divide and conquer, so that's that. I then just need to pass that to this Mercury. And here's my password. And there's my flag. Rolling your own crypto is hard.